Hi, this is Mayhem News Live, and this is the Man in Black, a.k.a. Team of Blibs. As you can tell, I'm in my car, but, you know, hey. Um, I wanted to address an issue. I've been doing a lot of gaming stuff here lately, and I've been asked by several people, you know, why don't you cover wrestling anymore? And, and uh, did you watch WrestleMania? Did you do this, do that, you know? And uh, I got to have mixed emotions. Um, you see, I'm a Stink fan. Big Sting fan. I've been following Sting since um, since most people, you know, remember him used to be the flat top and and all that. And I really got interested in him when he when he did the Crow thing because I'm a Crow fanatic. And um, but anyway, we well, see WWE messed that up. You know, they brought finally let Sting come to WWE. Um, it should have been you know one of my greatest things. Get to see him on TV again. Um, you know, and not actually wrestling on a sinking ship. He's actually wrestling and, you know, got to be in WrestleMania. Got to be, you know, but I had to watch it on YouTube because um, WB, you know, and I don't know if people's heard, heard me talk about this before. And uh, if you don't want to hear it again, you'll have to watch, you know, but uh, WWE supports the Special Olympics. Now, I have a son that has Down syndrome. Therefore, anything special needs is very important to me. Okay? The fact is, is they let Larry the Cable Guy, you know, come on their show. And I don't know if, you, if you've listened to Larry Cable Guy or you just follow him because you think he's funny or whatever. But if you listen to some of the things he says, he makes fun of Down Syndrome children. He makes fun of them. And, and it's not very, it's a, it's a very, very, uh, very rude, very vile comments and funny jokes that he makes if you want to call it that and um to me larry the cable guy is a waste of oxygen um he should do us all a favor and not breed you know and if that upsets you if it, if it upsets you because well you know i like him i think he's funny well i particularly don't care that's your opinion my opinion is he's trash he's nothing more than a waste of space as far as i'm concerned he could walk out in front of a bus now, that's my opinion, and I have a right to my opinion. Now, here's the thing. WWE allowed this man to come on. Now, in a way, you know, you say, well, you know, they've got corporate uh, obligations, and they've got, uh, you know, we don't know that they actually had to allow him on there, you know, but the guy was in a movie that was produced by WWE, all right, he was in Medea's Christmas thing, and I'm sorry, if you support Special Olympics, that man should never been on TV. He should have never been on your show. I don't care if he did 20 movies. Um, now, if you want to put him in a ring with some of the biggest people in there and let the hell let him beat the shit out of him, now I might pay for pay to see that. Uh, I canceled my WWE uh, Network prescription subscription. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a difference between me not supporting WWE and supporting the wrestlers. I support the wrestlers totally. Whether they've been a dick or not, whether they've been a pain in the ass, whether they've been an asshole, I support the wrestlers no matter what. Just because I don't support WWE don't mean I support. Uh, I think indie wrestling is the backbone of what you see on TV every Monday night. Uh, and if you don't support your indie wrestling, you don't support your main one, okay? You, you can't support... WWE, and so I'll watch indie wrestling. Uh, some of the best matches I've ever seen is in an indie, indie ring. Uh, this is why Next is so popular. Because in, 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 in reality, that's what that is. It, it's literally a, a jumping point to the main event, the main ring. And uh, even though it's still supported by WWE, it can't be considered indie wrestling. In a way, it's just another stepping stone. Now, it, I'm sorry... Larry the Cable Guy shouldn't have been on there. So I stopped I stopped reporting on WWE. And it kind of hurt my feelings. It bothered me that here I am, you know, it should have been the greatest time in the world, me getting to watch Sting in, in a WWE wrestling ring, and WWE ruined it for me. They, 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 I couldn't enjoy it. You know, yeah, I watched every time he was in the ring, but I never watched the show. I got it on YouTube. Because with YouTube, I don't have to watch the other crap. Okay? Um, I don't have to watch... Um, 
the 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 the, the crap that I didn't want to watch because I don't support them because of what they did with Larry the Cable Guy. And it just should not be, you know, well, well, you know, they let him on there once. He hadn't been again and again, you know, to Bari, you know. Uh, but the fact is they did. They let him on there. And it, it's just not right. And I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. I even started recording the shows again. And there's five of them on there and I can't watch. I just, and as I sat there the other day and I watched uh, Sting announce his retirement, you know, uh, kind of, it kind of, kind of got me in the heart, you know, because you know here he is retiring, and I've had to watch him, you know, watch his matches and stuff on YouTube because WWE ruined it. I couldn't enjoy it anymore, and people don't understand that that. Uh, you know, you don't make fun of, you know, any down, any special needs child, any autism, doesn't matter what you are. Those fun, those, those jokes are not funny. They're not funny. I don't care if you take them out of the context, they're not funny. It's as simple as that. And if you think they're funny and you're on my Facebook feed and you put some of that stuff on there, guess what? Your ass is gone. I don't care who you are. I don't follow the Pope. I don't care. Because it ain't funny. Well, it's a private joke. I don't care if it's a private joke or not. I don't care if you got a private joke with your kids, you walk up there and slap them upside the head. It's not funny. That's not funny either. So why do it? If you're going to call somebody stupid, why not just call them stupid? I do it all the time. Why you got to use the R word? And for these idiots out here, and I mean idiots, I don't care who you are. Anybody that says I'm overreacting. No, me overreacting would be coming to your house and jerking you out in the yard and beating you upside the head with the bloody nub of your arm. That would be overreacting. Me overreacting by, by putting you in your place and educating you is not overreacting. Because if I say, well, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to cause any controversy, you know, I don't want to do that. Well, see, then I'm supporting bad behavior. I'm reinforcing bad behavior. Me not saying nothing to you and embarrassing you because you're stupid and you use the word that you don't know what it is, you think it's funny, is supporting that. It's actually reinforcing a bad behavior. Yeah, Psych 101. Me embarrassing you by drawing it out and say, hey, that's an inappropriate word. And you're inappropriate for using it. That's me educating you. Now, my first reaction would get me in jail. My second reaction is to educate you and embarrass you to where you don't use that anymore. So, for anybody who wants to come on here and tell me, well, I'm overreacting. No, I'm not. If you knew the things that I edited, the actions that I edited, you'd be proud. My son has Down syndrome. He's considered special needs. You make fun of special needs, you're making fun of my son. I don't care what you think. If you got a problem with that, unfollow me on Facebook, Twitter, I don't care. Because there are people out there that agree the same way I do. I'll get a follower back. So this is why Mayhem News Live, Mayhem News, does not cover WWE wrestling anymore. Now I cover wrestling. Um, I'll give you some. I'll give you some. If you want to see some good wrestling, you need to look up Chance Prophet. You need to look up look up several people. Uh, I'll I'll list a bunch in the comments below. I'll in the uh, thing below. I'll I'll send some links. But this has been Mayhem News Live, and this is Timmy Blues, a.k.a. The Man in Black. And uh, talk to you soon.